50% increase in power and run 50% cooler than our M18 red lithium batteries we have today. Now to make this happen, it took two advancements in technology. The first is around the cell. So the last 10 years of development have been focused on this thing. It's called an 18650 cell. It's essentially the size of the can. The high output batteries are utilizing a new to world 21700 cell. Now this is roughly a little over 45% increase in volume of what's been used in the past. And what we're able to do with this additional space is advance the chemistry and the mechanical design in the cell to provide something that is significantly more powerful than that's, that's ever been used before. Second thing we had to do was upgrade the electronic package. So because these cells are capable of generating so much power out to the system, we actually had to re-engineer our power delivery system in the battery to get all that out to the 150 plus solutions in the M18 platform. So this is what an M18 9 pack looks like today versus the M18 high output 12 volt battery. The other thing we had to do was increase the intelligence and communication in the pack to drive compatibility with that 150 plus products on the system. The high output 12 volt battery is already 50% more power than the 9 pack we have today. It's going to do two things for your readers. One, it's going to provide that 15 amp ported performance experience in products like the table saw but it's also gonna elevate the performance of the entire M18 system. And what I mean by that is if you take something like a super hog or whole hog, you put a high output 12 volt battery on it, you're gonna instantly see faster application speeds and faith free power through the entire discharge. Now when we're putting this much power out to the system, it's critical that you minimize heat generation in the battery to get as much work done as possible without any shutdowns. The high output 12 volt battery is running 50% cooler than the 9 pack today. So to help illustrate that, I'm going to show you a video of a head-to-head -head simulation. On the left is the 9 on the right is the 12 -oh. When you see these bars rise, that's the amount of work being done. When you see the temperature start to change, that's the temperature of the pack. So the 9 hit an over temp situation. The 12 -oh actually delivers a full battery discharge under this heavy load without even getting hot. Now to give you perspective, this test runs for like 15 to 20 minutes straight. We don't have that much time with you today, so we accelerated this video to help demonstrate, but your key takeaway needs to be, your readers are going to be able to work harder and work longer without fear of any nuisance shutdowns when delivering this type of power out to the system. The high output 12 volt battery also delivers the most work per charge of any professional power tool system in the world, hands down, bar none. So to help illustrate that, here's a few examples. We're talking over 200 2 and 9 sixteenths holes with a super hog on one battery charge. We're 550 holes with a whole hog. That is a lot of roughin work being done on a single battery. That's multiple units of roughin on one charge. Another great example is the dual 10 inch miter saw delivering over 700 cuts in baseboard. What is that? 75 to 80 windows being framed in on a single battery charge? So when you're providing this type of performance, 15 amp quarter performance, as well as enough work to get through a full day, there is zero reason that anybody should be using 15 amp quarter product anymore.